try a race board because it was blocking some of my Alabama memorabilia. I'm a bit of an Alabama football fan, if you can't tell. Okay. Epically hot. If anybody has any idea how to make these work, I would greatly appreciate it. Well, that's no good. Whew. It was uh, definitely melting it down in there. What is that smell? I set the uh, the light cover that goes over those uh, high-powered video lights on fire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's taking my breath away. I'm like, I, yeah, it's got some it? kind of foil or something in it that's it's probably uh, that's a breathing probably, hazard. That's probably toxic. I'm in there hacking up a lung. <laughs> I am too. Good thing we didn't set off the sprinkler system. That would have been a disaster. Okay, so we're going to go without the professional lights for now. <clears throat> I think I want to try something new. <clears throat> so I think I want to try something new for the Passion Driven Life Project. I'm not, I'm not sure what to, what to call it yet, though. So for now, let's just call it... <clears throat> so for now, let's just call it Ask Drew Anything. So basically what I want you to do is ask me literally anything. If you have a question about a part that goes on an SCA package, if you have an install question, if you have a personal question that you want to ask me, if you have a totally unrelated question that's complete nonsense, ask me anything. So at this point you might be asking yourself, You really want to know? All right, I'll really tell you. What I want to do is basically create a community around what we're doing on the Passion Driven Life Project. So I want you as the viewer to drive the content. What I'll do is periodically feature your questions on the Passion Driven Life Project, provide the answers, and if there's something epic that we want to do based on those questions, We'll incorporate it in the blog. I'll leave your name and your personal info out so you don't have to worry about getting exposed to the rest of the world if you decide to ask something stupid. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. There's no such thing as a stupid question. All right, now, let's talk about the details. So I don't think that Ask Drew Anything will go off very well if the responses are not authentic and the emotion when answering the questions or reading the questions for the first time isn't original. So you can deliver them in one of three ways. If you want to post a short video on Instagram or Facebook and use the hashtag, that's one way. Way number two, I would be totally stoked if you sent me a letter in the mail to this address. <clears throat> and number three, if you want to shoot me an email, that's okay too. Just make sure that you put Ask Drew Anything in the subject line so I'll know not to read it before I open it up to read it on camera. So this is either going to be like 
the best idea I've had so far or a colossal failure. But you never know until you at least try it, right? Okay, the uh, the clock's already ticking. I'm, uh, I'm waiting to hear from you. Please, so that I don't look like an idiot, please just send me something. I, uh, I can't tell if I got high or poisoned off of that burning light cover. You, I think we all. I, think, uh, I feel like I'm kind of dying in there. <laughs> it's, it's, you close that door, you will die. It was rough in here, buddy. Woo. That is terrible.